is recognized. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Democrats prevent Republicans from serving on the select committee. Democrats kick Republicans off standing committees. Democrats try to make D.C. a state. Democrats try to end the filibuster. They try to pack the court. They do secret impeachment hearings in the bunker in the basement of the Capitol. And they just said a naval veteran is afraid of the truth. And now today, now today they are destroying executive privilege. The United States Supreme Court held those who assist the president must be free to explore alternatives in the process of shaping policies and making decisions, and to do so in a way that many would be unwilling to do except privately. The court further stated presidential administrations of both parties have asserted that president's close advisors are an extension of the president. Who are these close advisors? Who are these individuals who are an extension of the President of the United States? Well, there's actually a bunch. But certainly the three most important are the National Security Advisor, the White House Counsel, and the Chief of Staff to the President. And I would argue the Chief of Staff is the closest of the close. He's the one who spends more time with the Commander-in-Chief than anyone else. Now, why do we have this privilege? Why do we have it? Why is the decision-making process between the president and his close advisors a private matter? Why is that? Well, guess what? The Supreme Court told us the answer to that one, too. Quote, executive privilege serves the necessity for protection of the public interest in candid, objective, and even harsh opinions in presidential decision-making. Let me just say that again. Executive privilege serves the public interest. It's for us. It's for we the people. It's not for President Trump. It's not for Mark Meadows. It's not for any president. It's not for any chief of staff. It's for the country. But the Democrats, they're not going to worry about that. They're going to forget about that because they think this is good politics. They think this is all about politics. They used to care. They used to care about executive privilege when Republicans wanted information. During the Fast and Furious scandal, President Obama asserted executive privilege for bureaucrats at ATF and DOJ. I mean, think about it. A bureaucrat in a federal agency gets privilege, but not the chief of staff to the president. Because Mark Meadows worked for President Trump. And Democrats have been out to get President Trump before he ever took office when they first tried to spy on him, actually did spy on him in 2016. They're going to destroy this precedent even though even though this very question is in front of the courts as we speak. They're going to destroy this precedent that's been around since 1794 when our first president first asserted it. And for what? What did Mark Meadows do? He gave the committee thousands of emails. He gave the committee thousands of text messages. And he agreed to come in front of the committee and answer any question as long as it didn't violate executive privilege. The privilege that's not his to waive, it belongs to the president. The privilege that the court said is critical to executive decision making. The privilege that exists for the benefit of we, the people. And the privilege that's been around since George Washington asserted it. But Democrats says, nope, not good enough, Mr. Meadows. You've got to come in and answer any and every question we ask you. Or we're going to try to put you in prison. It's disgusting. It is so disgusting. Think about it. We weren't allowed to know who the anonymous, so-called anonymous whistleblower was when they tried to impeach President Trump, did impeach President Trump, but Democrats can destroy executive privilege. We weren't allowed to, the country wasn't allowed to know what took place in that bunker in the basement of the Capitol during impeachment, but they get to know any and everything they want about conversations between the president and his top advisor. This is so wrong. Democrats on the select committee, they also can't make up their minds. With Steve Bannon, they said, you have to appear in person to assert any privilege. And because he didn't come, they held him in contempt. With Jeff Clark, they said, come in person, assert privilege, which he did. And they said, nope, that's not good enough. And they held him in contempt. And now with Mark Meadows, he gave him thousands of documents and agreed to come. And they still said, not good enough. Not good enough. What a, what a charade. Make no mistake, make no mistake. When Democrats vote in favor of this resolution, it is a vote to put a good man in prison. 
That is what the, don't pretend to argue either. Don't even attempt the argument. No, no, no. This is, just a, this is just a house acting. The Justice Department will make a decision whether to prosecute or not. Come on. Is there anyone who believes that? It took the Attorney General all of five days to treat parents as terrorists. All of five days. If a left-wing political group can write the White House asking the Department of Justice to use the Patriot Act against moms and dads, and five days later the Attorney General of the United States does just that, then what do you think he's going to do when 225 Democrats in the House of Representatives ask him to put President Trump's chief of staff in prison? This is... I've been in Congress a while, 15 years. I've seen Democrats weaponize the government to attack their political opponents. Ten years ago, they used the IRS to target good people around this country, good conservative people. Five years ago, they used, the, they used the FBI to spy on, abuse the FISA process, used the FBI to spy on President Trump's campaign. Two months ago, two months ago, it was the Department of Justice using the counterterrorism division at the FBI to put a threat tag, a label, a designation on parents who had the gall to go speak up at a school board me uh, meetings and defend their kids, speak out against some crazy curriculum. And now... Now they're destroying executive privilege. Now they're attacking that. And this might be the worst. Destroying a precedent that has been around since George Washington and treating Mark Meadows as a criminal. Mark Meadows is our former colleague. He is a good man. And he is my friend. And this is, this is as wrong as it gets. And I think deep down, everyone knows it. I think they know it as well. They know this is wrong. We've all served with this guy. He is co sponsored He's done more work with Democrats than probably any Republican. We all know what a good man he is, and this is as wrong as it gets. You all know it. But your, your lust for power, your lust to get your opponents is so intense, you don't care. I hope you reconsider. I hope we don't take this action. Madam Speaker, I yield back. The gentleman from Indiana reserves the balance.